too often the name of Jesus is conspicuous by its absence. A couple of years ago, I uh, drove up to a church here in West Ohio to preach at their centennial worship celebration. You gotta meet by 60 years. And a huge banner was on the side of that church. It said, celebrating 100 years of community presence. Community presence? What is that? Is that anything distinct from what the Lions Club or the Rotary Club or the Chamber of Commerce or the local bank or the lumber yard could, could claim? I pray that when a similar banner goes up next on the side of that church, it says something like celebrating 125 or celebrating 150 years of proclaiming the name of Jesus. Or that at least says what's on your, your poster out here. I nearly rear-ended somebody when I took a look at your, <laughs> your board coming in here today. Char said, no, don't turn in there where the arrow says going out. you got to turn in the other place because I was looking at your board there. And you know what it says? It says celebrating 160 years of serving God. That's a lot better than saying we're just here. We've been here. You know, we're celebrating presence. <laughs> no, the church isn't here just to celebrate his presence. You're not here on this Sunday morning just to sit in those views and say, I'm present. No, you're here to celebrate proclaiming the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You're here to say we're in the business of serving God and God's people. Can I get an amen? Amen. We're way past this celebrating presence, folks. You see, when Jesus' name is not proclaimed, his power to heal and forgive and transform is not experienced by God's people. When Jesus' name is not proclaimed, his power is removed from the stuff of life around us. When Jesus' name is not proclaimed, his power to bind us to God, our greater, is lost. When Jesus' name is not proclaimed, intimacy with Jesus evaporates and we begin to starve for grace and love and hope and joy in our lives. Please, folks, please let the naming begin. Please, Paul, the United Methodist Church, as you move into your next 160 years, say, we're out there. We're out there proclaiming the name of Jesus Christ to this community and to every person who is lost. Amen. I thought for a moment someone was going to applaud. <laughs> oh, yeah, amen. Ben knows this, and many of you do too, that for the past 10 years I have been articulating a vision for the United Methodist Church here in West Ohio. And the, the vision is this. I believe that God, I really believe God has called us to this vision. That every one of our churches, and we have well over 1,100 congregations in West Ohio, that every one of our congregations would be, would be healthy, would be vital, would be growing, would have a kind of spiritual vitality within it, that they would become a risk-taking center for making and equipping disciples of Jesus Christ for the transformation of the world. Not, not disciples who just show up on a Sunday morning to be present, but disciples that go into the world and make a difference. Change people's lives. Change the community around them so it looks like the kingdom of God. But I want to suggest to you today that as important as it is for the West Ohio Conference and each of our churches, including this one, to have a clear, concise vision for, for its future, vision is not enough. As important as it is for us to have a strategic plan for how you will grow and how you will be vital. Stretch strategies are not enough, and as important as it is for us to invest significant dollars in advancing our ministry and, and creating new ministries and new programs and being involved in mission, money is not enough. Because the only thing that will give us true energy and vitality is if we have lay and clergy leaders. I want to put an emphasis on lay, lay and clergy leaders who are servant leaders, who are missionary leaders, who are spiritual leaders, the kind of leaders who are willing and able, like Peter and John, to proclaim to a hungry and hurting world in the name of the risen Jesus Christ, stand up and walk. Stand up and walk. In the name of the risen Jesus, be whole. In the name of the risen Jesus, you are forgiven. In the name of the risen Jesus, receive new life. Dear friends, Congregational vitality is, by definition, a resurrection statement. Congregational vitality is, by definition, an Easter experience. Congregational vitality is, by definition, an act of seeing that the tomb is empty. 
Congregational transformation is by definition making the reality of the risen Christ every person's every day reality. So let the dating begin. Are you ready to let the dating begin as you go forward? Are you ready? All right. This anniversary is not about the past. You know, I could have come here and, and spent the morning preaching about all those great saints that went before us. But I, I know those saints. I know those saints as you do. Because some of you are, some of them are probably your relatives. These are not the people that want you to look backwards. These are the people that are going to say, are you going to proclaim the name of Jesus going forward? So this anniversary is not about the past. It's about the future. And the future of this congregation lies in doing everything necessary to lift up the mighty name of Jesus to those who live in darkness, those who are without a church home, those who are hungry and thirsty for joy and grace and love in their lives. One of the things I uh, do is uh, be because of uh, my interest, but also because of my work in ministry is I pay careful attention to the demographics of our communities. You know what? There's not a county. We have the key counties in West Ohio. There's not a county in the West Ohio Indian Conference that doesn't have at least 50% of its population that does not have a church home. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, we're just out here in this rural area and everybody goes to church. Not true. Not true. 90% of the people in this country say that they believe in Jesus Christ. But less than half the population in our country today is Christian. See, there are so many people that are counting on this congregation right here in this community, in this county, to offer them, in the name of Jesus Christ, new life, new possibilities, new hope. 